What's up, YouTube? Everybody, SD General back again with another Operation Trebuchet news update. Uh, this week, guys, we have plenty of awesome stuff to show off to you guys. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into it. Starting us off, we have the uh, Pringles can, as it's been dubbed, or the SRS's uh, silencer has been downsized by Edward G. Um, it was big, it was oversized, it was ridiculous looking, and I loved it, but this obviously new one is a lot more realistic looking, um, less ridiculous looking, and uh, it's probably a good change in the long run for the realism aspect of Operation Trebuchet. Uh, nothing else really major to report on this, it's just an aesthetic upgrade or change as far as I'm aware, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna continue on to probably the biggest thing from this news update, uh, at least in the sense of most excitement and hype. Uh, we have the new grenade launcher being worked on by Vespade. Um, this project was requested by someone else, but Vespade's been working on it for them. This is the XM525, or at least I believe that's the name they're going to be going with. Uh, this is based off of concept art from Halo Reach, or not Halo Reach, but uh, from one of the Halo games. I don't know which one. This is Bungie concept art, though. Um... Obviously, this grenade launcher has a huge capacity, and it's going to fire a lot more rounds a lot more quickly than the current uh, Reach grenade launcher. Uh, not much else to report on it now. Obviously, there is some deviations from the uh, concept art, as the stock, the scope, and a few other parts are showing some differences, instead going with uh, kind of a basis off of some of the other weapons from uh, Halo and other sources. So... Uh, a very cool looking weapon. I'm very excited for this thing. Uh, kind of curious to see how it actually ends up performing, what sort of uh, rounds and stuff it actually ends up using. I'm assuming it'll obviously use like 40 millimeter grenades, but uh, if special ordnance is any indication, that's probably where this will end up first. Uh, there will probably be some very wacky rounds that this thing gets. Uh, sticking on the theme of weapons, we have Freeman showing off a grenade that he's been working on. He said he doesn't know if he plans to uh, release this for the mod or just use this as a practice project. Um, of course, we do already have the grenade from Halo in game. Of course, you know more weapons and variations, different types and stuff are always welcome. Of course, uh, I'm not exactly sure how accurate this is to a grenade from actual Halo or how accurate the one currently in the mod is to uh, grenades from Halo. Obviously, with different Halo games, the, the grenades and everything else have changed, so this could easily just be a, a different type. Um, I can't remember right offhand, though, without a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, you know, unfortunately with grenades, too, the other thing is is that it's really hard to appreciate the grenades because either you're throwing these very small objects out very fast or you're trying to run away from the small objects that got thrown at you very fast. Um, so unless they're like just on the ground and you're going to pick them up, you don't really get to appreciate the models on these things too much. Uh, that swings us on over to vehicles. So for vehicles, we had uh, Hollywood showing off a potential variant that we might see of the Kodiak, which is a APC uh, variant of it. So this one has no... Uh, no artillery weaponry or anything like that. Uh, presumably the back would open up and it would have seats and everything on the inside. Um, this isn't a guaranteed model or anything, but just kind of a concept he was working on. Of course, it's an interesting concept. I, I dig it. I like the model, uh, at least as far as we can see of it. Um, we'd be interested to see how the interior and everything would be designed for that, too. That's, that's pretty interesting for me. Uh, but that does keep us with vehicles. We skip on to our next thing here, at least sort of a vehicle, sort of a structure. So a nice segue between our next two sections. Uh, we had uh, Sanchez's continued work on the carrier. Now, unfortunately, according to Sanchez, the previous carrier model we had shown off, everything had been lost on it. So the models we've previously been showing off for the carrier are all gone, all the interiors and everything. Um... So this is a new model. He said he's basically gotten caught up to the point that he was at already anyways, much, much more quickly. Um, but with that being said, he started work on modular interiors. Now, I don't know if this is going to be like the Drake class where we have individual pieces available for placement. But then when we actually go to place the carrier uh, as a whole, uh, it will be like the Drake class and it just places it down like a, a preset composition in the mod. And so it places all the hallways and stuff automatically. That's personally what I would hope for. And then just have the individual pieces uploaded and available for use for other things or allowing people to make their own carrier designs if they wish to do that. Um, as far as the, the pieces we have on screen here, 
Uh, obviously, the one is a hallway with uh, a few different intersections. The other one, I'm not sure exactly where this is supposed to be. Uh, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a uh, part of the superstructure and this is like an aircraft hangar up top for like helicopters or, or pelicans or whatever, or if this is supposed to be like down in the water and this is where you'd like keep boats and stuff like certain other carriers have. Um, obviously, there does appear to be some uh, tracks and cables and stuff on the ceiling that would indicate some sort of crane system, but that really could go either way as far as like loading cargo or uh, pulling boats out of the water or whatever. So uh, I'm not really sure what this is. Uh, so if we could gain clarification from Sanchez on that, Sanchez, that would be amazing, sir. Um, either way, I'm very excited for this. Obviously, this carrier is one of those things I've been like basically fawning over and begging for for uh, like years now, so super excited to see this. Uh, going into structures, as I said before, we have uh, Go After its continued work on the orbital elevator. Not much really new to report on this since uh, previous weeks, just more and more model refinements as we've been seeing uh, in previous weeks here. Uh, more changes, more variations to these orbital elevators and stuff like that. So, uh, some twists in the cables and stuff. But uh, yeah, not much else to report on it aside from that currently. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to swing on over to our next project, which is from uh, Kenny. Uh, Kenny has been showing off these uh, these doors here that he's been working on. Now, I'm not exactly sure what he meant when he posted about the doors. So I want to just quote him on that. He says, been working on a set of objects for the new buildings so that they can be optimized as much as possible by using the same objects with the same textures. Here's two medium doors. Well, the materials are not final. It is close. So I don't know if he means when he's talking about optimizing it, making it easier for uh, community members such as myself to to make missions and stuff and obviously do map making, or if he's talking about like actual like modeling of buildings for the development team. So people like uh, Hollywood and himself who are going to be working on buildings, having these pre-made set assets that they can plop onto a model super easily. Uh, I'm a little unclear on what the uh, what the intent or mention was for that. So, uh, Kenny, as far as you go, could you clarify that down in the comments? I didn't have a chance to reach out to you before I had to record this. I'm already running behind, so I can't ask you now, unfortunately. So, uh, if you happen to see this, if you could let us know what you mean on that, that would be super appreciated. Uh, anyways, with regards to the door, we do have some video of that, too, showing off the doors opening in different directions, as well as uh, a double door that opens uh, both directions to the left and to the right. Uh, that brings us on over to community news. Now, as far as community news goes, we do have a, uh, a kind of a cool project being started. Uh, Vexi has started what appears to be a, I, I believe I was even told it was an insurrectionist tank. I can't remember if it was an insurrectionist tank or just supposed to be a tank in general for Optre. Uh, this will be a, a custom asset, obviously not based off of uh, anything in particular, but uh, kind of an interesting thing, a little bit of a sci-fi feel, a little bit of a World War II feel almost combined here. Um definitely interested to see where this project goes obviously it's still very early on we we have uh the turret and substance painter and everything like that but it's missing a barrel it's missing the rest of a tank so uh once that sees further development though i'm excited to see where it goes and continuing uh reporting on that other than that guys that is uh everything for this week uh, nothing else to talk about, unfortunately, so I hope you guys enjoyed the news. Of course, like always, I want to know what you guys are most excited for from today's news update, uh, what you guys want to see the most in the mod aside from this stuff, and other than that, guys, take it easy. I'll see you in the next one.